Father, we thank you this morning. Thank we come you. with thanksgiving in our hearts. We thank you for this day. We thank you for life. We thank you for just guiding the doctors and thank you for the calmness and Kalisha. And Lord, we just appreciate the gift of God you give to the children. And we ask your blessing, your anointing over this uh, uh, birthing of the child, of the children. We ask you to bless. Keep everybody peaceful in their minds and their hearts. We know all is well in Jesus' name. Jesus. So we just give you glory. And we speak Amen. life and prosperity Amen. and God fearing children in advance in the name of Jesus. We dedicate them to you now, even in the womb. And Lord, we just give you praise this day in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let's do this. <laughs> All right, y'all. Right, I look a hot mess because I did not get any sleep. However, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Kalisha, and I am 37 weeks and two days pregnant with twins. And today is my induction date. So it is October 24th, 5:30 on the dot. I am here at the hospital where I will be delivering out in the waiting room right now waiting to be admitted y'all last night was rough i did not get any sleep i got maybe an hour and a half max i had contractions all night i'm gonna be very disappointed if i'm not dilated at all at my last doctor appointment which was friday i was like a centimeter dilated if i'm not at at least three and a half three three and a half four i'm gonna be very disappointed so hopefully that's the case um but yeah we just waiting in the waiting room um ready <laughs> This, this uh, pre-game prep talk. Alright. Huh? I'm sit while you give to. Huh? You got this. You hear me? You got this big dog. When I say push, you push. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, y'all. We are in the room. Ow. A lot of space um so yeah i'm about to get changed i guess they want me to go ahead and get in my gown so i'm about to do that kind of make myself at home go ahead and plug my chargers up find a hiding space for y'all just in case they be tripping um yeah so let's get it together Okay, y'all, so it's currently 5.51. I've gotten semi-ready, I guess. I just put on my gown from Freedom Mom socks. And I'm just sitting up in the bed. We've taken some Polaroid pictures to document the moment. Um, I've put my toiletries in the bathroom, clothes in the little closet. And we just waiting. Um, I'm not sure what happens next. <laughs> So we're going to see. I see they got one little baby thing over here. So I'm pretty sure they're going to have to get like a second one. Um, so yeah. I'm not sure when everything going to go down. But I'm still feeling fine. I'm not nervous yet. I'm just like ready to get it over with really. Baby nervous. <laughs> he paced in the floor. <laughs> Walking around looking at everything. Trying to see <laughs> everything. He, he nervous. You want to hug. You want to hug? Nah, I'll be alright. Just figure out as you go. Right. Yeah. Well, baby, thank you for being here. <laughs> You've been an excellent partner throughout all this. I try, baby. I try. I, I think I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah. I can't wait to see, see you today. How you handle today. <laughs> 
first. Yeah. First actual labor. Second delivery, first labor. Right. Yeah. Hands on. You're going to do great. A few moments later. Oh, can y'all tell it's contracting? Oh. It's like everything just pushes to the forward and just tightens. Oh. It's been pretty constant. So, I'm eager to see how far I am dilated. Oh, okay. It's relaxing now. I don't know if y'all can tell the difference in this gown, but it has passed now. Um. Carlos went downstairs to get um, the rest of the bags out of the car. The nurses said they're having an emergency and they don't have a, I think a lot of them aren't here yet. So it's a little wait time. I haven't gotten my IV or anything yet. I think they're Vertex Vertex. Yay! Yay. Yeah. So after we get everything ready, we'll come in and break your water, start with some potatoes and all that good stuff. Do you want her to get an epidural? I would recommend it, yeah. Yeah. I told her because we usually deliver in the OR, mm -hmm. and then if something happens, yeah. then it's best. They can uh, bolus that spine. Because <laughs> she was wanting to go natural. Probably for the best control of the whole situation, it'd be best to get an epidural, I think. All right, y'all. I'm so happy right now. Really good news. Um, they came in and got me hooked up to the monitors. Still don't have my IV yet, but they have gotten me hooked up to the monitors. It's 7:37. Um, heartbeats are strong. Everything's good. I'm having contractions, as I see on this monitor. Um, not too too bad. They're manageable. Um, but the good news is Leah is head down, and I. I quite literally felt her move like the other day I told Carlos so I'm excited to hear that they are both head down so we are definitely a go for vaginal however um, they do think I should get an epidural which I'm not just totally upset about so next up they're gonna come in um, break my water well hook me up to the IV break my water and then check me see how far dilated I am and then after that we just labor until delivery so I'll check in with y'all a little bit later. Here we go. It's about kickoff time, Daddy. Goodbye time. <laughs> Have you been um, contracting a lot? Yes. Would you believe me if I told you you were about six centimeters? Woo! Yes, Lord. Oh, sorry. So we need to be on the epidural list ASAP. Hey, Daddy, you can get it. Hey, Mm -hmm. Maybe take my jewelry out, but you know, it's okay. There was a big one right there. Okay. I don't know if I told you. Did I tell you? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what I'm updating y'all on right now. I forgot the last thing. Oh, the last thing was that they were both head down and that they were finna come right. in and get me to do everything. So I've gotten my IV, as you can see. Um, I'm plugged up to the monitors. I think I said that already. He broke my water. Um, and he also checked me, for, you know, checked my dilation. And I was legitimately six centimeters. <laughs> that is so wild to me. Although I'm so happy about that. But it was definitely wild because I wasn't expecting it to be six. I was expecting being a lot more pain at six centimeters, but clearly I just have a high pain tolerance at this point. I've come to the conclusion. So um, they do recommend I get the epidural. So that's next in line. And then we pretty much just wait on the natural progression of, you know, labor. So hopefully next time I'll be. Y'all hear some crying. It's exciting. <laughs> it's exciting. Tell them how you feel, baby. Lift the mic. Ah, man. I'm a G, man. I'm a champ. Man. Uh -huh. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Everything she's talking about, I already knew it was going to happen the way it's happening. So it is what it is. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. I'm so great. And it ain't no, I can handle pain, no pain tolerance, man, because she giving birth to royalty. And when it's, it's like both. that, when it's like that, man, the good Lord be over you, man. He cover you. It's like no other. So it's it just both. be like, it just be like what it is, right? It's like free and clear, no pain. <laughs> okay y'all so it's 10 30 i'm still six centimeters however um he has moved down more my cervix is more soft um they just started the pictosin maybe like 15 minutes ago i also got the upper door i ain't tell y'all that I got the epidural when it was about an hour ago at this point. Oh, I did? Okay. Sorry. It's all running together at this point. I'm so sleepy. I did get a small nap in before she came to put the catheter in and kind of clean me up a little bit. So, we're having a hard time keeping the babies on the monitor because they just like so active. <laughs> so, they keep losing them and stuff. Not losing them as in losing them, but like just losing the bands on my belly. So, um, how I'm feeling? I'm very sleepy, but I'm very hungry. This is how I'm feeling. So I'm nauseous, and I don't like that. So a plus about the epidural is I don't feel them huge contractions happening over there. However, I don't like not feeling my legs. I don't like that. Or my belly. I'm like touching myself and it's like, am I there? <laughs> I see me, but am I there? So, yeah. Um, other than that, everything's going swell. I predict I'll be having them no later than 3 p.m. You think it's going to be sooner? I hope so. I hope so too. <laughs> Well, y'all, 12, 10, and I am 10 centimeters dilated. Um, baby dress. He ready. <laughs> I don't think that thing go around his mouth, but <laughs> he, <laughs> but he ready for the OR. Cheerleaders over here. They excited. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we finna get ready to go back and push these babies out and then... We'll be back on in here um, to let the family see. So, we're very excited. Carlos nervous. Yep, I am. I really Well, this part should be quick, hopefully. <laughs> in and out, in and out. All right, I'll see y'all in the OR. You ready, big dog? Game time. Let's go hit it. All right, so it's like, what time is it? It's 107 p.m. October 24, 2022. We are about to get this thing kicked off. We just took baby to the back. And now I'm in this little waiting area, waiting for them to get all prepped and set up. And then um, I go to the back, man, so we can go ahead and start pushing and move forward with the uh, second baby. <sighs> Finally get to meet the babies, man. That I've been touching on from the stomach. And I get to see faces and put names to faces and uh, raise some beautiful children. So, super nervous, but um, all is well, man. And God is good and He will provide. So, it is what it is. Lily.
All right, I think we're ready. Good push. Like you did last time. Oh, on your bottom. Build it, build it. Build there you it. go. Good job. Three. He's almost oh, here. Okay, that's good. Out. Heads out. Oh, so. Okay. Oh, so oh, my oh, so. oh, my I'm biting my finger. Biting my finger. I'm going to go down first to yeah. the interior shoulder. Okay. And then we're going to go straight up. Look down, look down, look down. There you go. Say, hi, boys. Hi, boys. Hi, boys. Hi, boys. Hi, boys. Hi, boys. Hi, She's almost here. Good, 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 good. Build it, build it, build it. Yeah, baby, let's go. Perfect. Okay, relax. So what I did and do is it one more time. Okay. Ready? You can do it. Rotation. We'll meet her. Okay. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Perfect. Put that up there. Okay. There you go, baby. Go, baby. There you go, baby girl. Come on, baby girl. Okay. Good job. You got it, baby. You got it. You got it. You got it. That's how close you are now. Okay, do you want to push it, please? Yeah. Your head? Not yet. Let's wait for your next contract. Do it. There you We're go. There you go. Push out of there. Okay, all right, breathe. Oh, <laughs> Just breathe. Stop oh. pushing. I'm sorry. You're That's good. okay. You're a good pusher. Just give me a... Can you say? Can you say it? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, so get down first. And push. Oh, and down. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Oh, you got it. Oh, you Oh, yeah. Here you go. There she go. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, no. No turn it back now. There she is. And then we'll put D over here. There we go. Thank you. Put that under your elbow. Yeah, yeah, they do yeah, I, yeah. I gotta get it. Look them up. Look them up. First They look like me, y'all. <laughs> they look like me, y'all. <laughs> Today has been a day, but as y'all saw, the twins are here. They've gotten their first bath. Um, I've gotten up and washed up a little bit. Um, my upper door is wearing off. It's not all the way off. Um, I've gotten something to eat. Still a little tired, still a little shaky too. Um, so we're about to get moved to the postpartum floor, another room. So I'm baby getting the stuff together back there. Um, and then that's what we'll be for the remainder of the night. So, yeah, I'm just sitting here looking at my babies and their sweet faces. They're so sweet. Oh, I also had my first, their first feeding. Um, they both did really good. Trey latched on much sooner, um, than Leah did. But when Leah got on there, sis did not want to get off. <laughs> she greedy. <laughs> she ate real good. Um, so I'm definitely proud of it. So. It's going to be a challenge feeding, tandem feeding. <laughs> so we'll see how it go. But I'm definitely going to try them up for the challenge.
right y'all so it is a few hours later it's about nine something at night um the twins just got their um assessment done by the nursery nurse um and everything checked out they had their first bowel movement all of that they fed again which is good um well they nursed again which is good still haven't gotten any sleep <laughs> hopefully i'm about to get some um all the parent grandparents are gone so it's just carlos and i they're sleeping now they're tucked away in their bassinet so i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here i hope you all enjoyed my labor and delivery vlog um be sure that you're subscribed to carlos's in our channel because um we'll be sharing our hospital stay over on that channel so i'll link it down below if you don't already if you aren't already subscribed and um yeah i'll see you all in my next one bye